I'm gonna use toothpicks to go kind of all the way through, keep it about this height, and I'll show you just in a minute why this is very, very important. So a cool little trick you can do, get your match, put it right in, and it should flame up in about six seconds, and if it does, then your oil is ready to go. All right, so now the oil has flamed up, so we're gonna come back, we're gonna turn over our pieces of corn, and we're just gonna push down, see how it pops up there. Got a serrated knife here. All you're gonna do is you just slow into it, and then it just pops down. And so now you just keep going. So now we need to add our stuff to it. So I have cornstarch, a little bit of paprika, finishing up with coriander and a little bit of red chili flakes. So we're gonna move this around. And you gotta take this match out, of course, first. And seeing that corn has a little bit of water in it, be very, very careful and add a little bit at a time. Now it's time to fry some corn. It smells wonderful, by the way, already. You look at the color, especially with the paprika and the coriander. It's gonna give it a great taste. Gonna go in with a little bit of salt. And now it's on to the next step. All right, so now I have my baby pizza dough, to which is a little bit of turmeric added to it. And of course, you can find that at the store. So I'm gonna use the back side of my knife here. And I'm just gonna press down to form little crevices, as you can see. All right, so from here, I'm gonna grab my wooden skewers. And all you're gonna do is place one on one end, one on the other. Now at this moment, you're gonna press down on all four. Kind of get a little bubbles here. Looks cool. All right. Now what is this going to be? So you're going to push it from the bottom. And it looks like we have a piece of corn. Now we're going to place it on our corn husk that we reserved. Make sure that this is in the center. Let it drape over. And now it's time to go into a preheated oven, 350 degrees for 15 minutes. All right, so now we're on our final step. And we have a pressure cooked ranch chicken. So this has a little bit of Philadelphia in it. And of course you can find this recipe online. But let's take it up one more notch. So I have my shredded cheddar here. We're gonna place this right on top. Spread it out. Of course you need bacon. That looks lovely. Now I'm gonna finish off with some chives. It's gonna go all the way around. Now I'm gonna place the top back on just so that it melts. Alright, so now our corn husk. Does that not look absolutely amazing? Look at that. I'm gonna use my hand. And we're just gonna barely kind of pull it out. It's gonna come out pretty easy for yourself. Just hold. All right, so now it's time to go into this chicken bacon ranch. Oh, yes. So we're gonna put it right into the cavity that we have here. Everything's melted, looks great. It smells absolutely wonderful. And remember, as always, you can find this recipe online. And of course, as always, if the chef doesn't taste it, it's probably not good. That's wonderful. All right, guys, we'll see you later.